Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. This is the Covert Crow and I'm in the in-car studio. That's right, I came right from FedEx and I couldn't even wait. I just put this thing on the wrist and we want to get into it. That's right, thanks to my boy KD, he shipped her in from Brooklyn and we're all set up, we're good to go. I'm talking about the Bomb and Mercier Capeland World Timer. This is the stainless steel model on the blue leather alligator strap. She's coming in at 44 millimeters in diameter. A fantastic stainless steel polished and brushed case. As you can see, the lower portion is brushed and the upper portion on that bezel is a polished stainless steel. Very nice touch. This is reference M0A10106, known as the Cape Land model. Now we're looking at a domed sapphire crystal which is fantastic and it's raised right up off of that bezel as you can see several millimeters uh, probably for added uh, visibility uh, we also have an exhibition case back which allows you to see that fantastic automatic movement in there it's also signed with Baum and mercier and capeland right on the stainless steel case back now we are looking at only a 50 meter water resistance but that's pretty good, considering this ain't a dive watch. Who's calling me? Those of you who are new to the channel, do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit the bell, because you don't want to miss the new content, and there's always new content coming. And let's get out there and get into it and take a close look at the Baum & Mercier Cape Land World Timer. Now, we got the case at 44 millimeters. Stainless steel, brushed, and polished. We covered that off. Did I cover off the specs? We better jump into the specs. You want to know about the specs, right? Yeah, of course. We're looking at 50 meter water resistance. I think I covered that with the case. But when we get to the lug width, we're looking at 21 millimeters lug width. We have a 51 millimeter. 51. That's not too bad. You know, 51 millimeter lug to lug. We have an overall thickness of 14.4 millimeters. Now, let's get a close look at that dial. Let's get the white gloves on and get a bird's eye view, shall we? The dial. Now there's one area in which this Baum and Mercier doesn't fall short, and that definitely is the dial. She is a stunner. Now let's take a look at it closely. We have an inner off-white colored white dial with those blue metallic hour, minute, and large second hands. We have Arabic numerals going around that inner dial, and we have it stamped with Baum & Mercier Genève at the 12 o'clock position and automatic world timer, as you can see there down at the six o'clock position. We have a date complication at the three o'clock position, and we have an outer ring, a 24 hour world timer ring that represents the specific time zones for the countries around the world, which is also stamped on the inner ring of this dial. But you can't ignore those blue metallic hands. They are just gorgeous. I think you better subscribe. Now it is a world timer, so it's similar to a GMT. For example, as you can see, the time now is approximately 2.23 p.m. Well, if you look above at the London, it's showing 1900 hour which is five hours ahead, which is accurate for the GMT hour. Like I said, she is a stunner. Somewhat of a vintage feel or vibe wrapped up in an otherwise contemporary or modern design. The Balmer Mercier Capeland World Timer. What's the movement? I love the colors of fall. Aren't they just gorgeous? We lucked out here coming deep into October and still having some nice warm weather. But I guess that's not what we're here. You're interested in the movement. You want to know about the movement for this Baum & Mercier Cape Land. Well, let's get into it. We're looking at an automatic movement, self-winding, caliber BM143-5750. Yeah, that's right. Now, She's running at 28,800 vibrations per hour and has a reasonable 42 hour power reserve. 
But here's where things get a little complicated. Concerning the value of this timepiece, it seems to fluctuate anywhere between $2,000 and six dollars to $8,000. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you what. This particular movement is from circa 2010. So the newer models of this exact timepiece are now built with the IWC caliber 3750. Hence the price increase. We all know IWC, they are rock stars in the watch community. So there you have it. If, if you're as uh, curious about it as I am, leave me a comment down below and shed some light on maybe the clarification of that actual issue. How much does it cost? Now let us talk about the cost, because I'm getting conflicting results from my searches. It's from the higher end, it's the mid-range, it's a little bit lower, but uh, at the end of the day, we're still talking four digits. I mean, it's trending brand spanking new for just over $6,000. And a used one is coming in at round four, and that's on Chrono24, a well-known app on the internet. My question to you is who's gonna pay that? Who's gonna be in a position to pay that? Paging Dr. David, Dr. David report to surgery. Seriously, who's gonna pay that? Hulk smash. But hey, listen, you are getting a quality Swiss made timepiece, an automatic movement built by IWC, a reputable company. Like they are off the charts awesome. All right, with that movement put into this bomb and Mercier, this world timer with that complication, wow, I guess it could be justified, but it's just very hard when you see those price ranges. It makes it very difficult to understand. But hey, it doesn't take away from the fact that it's a gorgeous piece, straight up. Is it on a strap or a bracelet? So let's talk about the strap. I know you want to know about the strap, of course. We're looking at that beautiful dark blue navy color crocodile leather. It is awesome, soft to feel. It just feels great. And on the wrist, comfortable, what? Come on now. We have a polished and brushed buckle signed with the Balm and Mercier symbol. It is a 21 meters, which tapers down to 18 as we get to the clasp and buckle. And other than the feel, by appearance, the star of the show, the beautiful accented white stitching that you see. Mm -mm. I'll give it to you again. Yeah, she's great. And I'll throw it on the wrist so you have a nice look at how it works. I'm just at uh, just under seven and a quarter inch wrist. And of course, there's no issues with that. It fits just fine. And like I mentioned before, when you're coming in at only a 105 gram weight, uh, strap included, that is awesome. It'll feel like you don't have anything on at all. Have you liked and subscribed yet? Now I think I've covered it off for you. She is a beast. I'm telling you, if you like to travel and you're in from city to country to country to city or wherever, this World Timer could be for you. That's the Bomb and Mercier Cape Land World Timer, 44 millimeters. She is a sweetheart. Now listen, I gotta get this thing packed up and shipped off to Brooklyn, so do me a favor and like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell, cause you don't wanna miss the next video. I'm the Covert Crow, in case you want to follow me on Instagram, it's right there. Do me a favor, be well, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.